they've been wanting me to show them how to, and that is to solve a Rubik's Cube. Woo! Good morning, bastards, and welcome back to my channel. Guys, today is Wednesday, Thursday for y'all, but Wednesday for me, and today we're gonna deliver that cake to my co-workers, see what they think. Like I said, it's an apologetic cake, not really, just just for the laughs. He's gonna be like, oh wow, you made me a cake, and then, I don't know, dude, I don't know, should I smash his face in the cake? Like a double prank, like, like an anti-prank that actually turns into a prank? I don't know, I wish you guys could let me know right now. But anyways guys, here's the cake. It actually, oh shit. Still tastes really good, um, but actually the writing hardened up. It's good that it hardened, so it means it won't move around during travel. I still need to run to the store and get something to cover it up, so when I'm traveling, like, you know, nothing gets on or anything, so I might go do that. Before that, I'm going to eat some lunch. I'm not sure what I'm going to eat. I saw some of that mac and cheese left. I could just heat that up. Something quick and easy, you know? And then from there, we're just going to have to see what the day has to offer, so let's... Flippin' do it. We actually made it, guys. Cakes in one piece. So yeah, I'm just gonna be at work, and maybe I'll ask if I can record his reaction. I'll probably do it after the shift and everything anyway. But if not, I'll just ask when we get outside, and I'll get everyone's reaction on the cake. But I'm sure they're gonna love it. <laughs> Dang, bro. He's scared because I got a water balloon in my hand. Come on, Leo. I just want to know what you think of the cake. I guess we're going to have to get someone else. <laughs> Someone's going to get pegged by this water balloon. <laughs> All right guys, so we just got off work. I wasn't able to capture their reactions of the cake, but generally everyone liked it. The one thing that they all did say, which I agree on, is it was really sweet. And I think I just went a little overboard on the sugar. So next time I'm going to cut on that because I'm already sweet, so they don't need any more sweet. But other than that, it was really good, really moist, and just... So if you haven't made it yet, but you are thinking about making it, um, if you're gonna follow my recipe, just cut down on the sugar just a little bit. Um, other than that, they all liked it. But right now, I'm on my way back to Grand Prairie, and I'll see you guys when I get there. Yo, what's up guys, just got back home, and right now it is 12.30 in the morning, so um, as you, you can probably tell, like Justin, you haven't done today you know like what what is there what's gonna happen so anyways I thought I could teach you guys something that I know how to do that a lot of people have been asking me to like for like as long as I've known how to do it they've been wanting me to show them how to and that is to solve a Rubik's Cube now if you're if you know me for a while you know that I can solve this puppy pretty fast and um, people always ask me hey Justin like can you show me how to do it like tell me explain to me and I always tell them like you know it's just intuitive you know like and it's hard to explain intuition um, so I'm just wanna like I want you guys to see what I see and maybe that will help and that's really the video today I'm just gonna show you guys how I solved this thing um, and yeah maybe some of you guys will learn and some of y'all will be able to solve it faster than me but that's not likely but anyways let's get into it all right guys so this is going to be a super basic not really going to go into too much detail on how to do this if you guys want a video like that you want me to go into like super detail on how to solve the rubik's cube just let me know down in the comments and i'll make sure to do that but anyways we're just going to get started on this so i'm gonna go ahead and mix this up all right, so this is all mixed up now. We got, you know, just a whole bunch of colors. To the untrained eye, this looks like a whole bunch of just random colors and stuff. But really, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start to pick a side. And you know which side is which by the middle piece. So this side needs to be blue. 
the sides needs to be orange, green, and you know, so on. So I usually start with the green sides. So you uh, start with the green side on top, right? You put the green dot on top, and you're going to want to just start making a little green T. So you move the little edge pieces, and you're just going to connect them. And um, that's really the first step. It's just making a little green cross on top. And that's really just, it's not really anything I can explain. It's just knowing how to get the pieces around. So, like, here I have this already. You got another green piece down here. You just flip it up. And that's the green cross right there. Alright, so once you got your green cross, you're going to want to flip that bad boy so it's on the bottom side. And now you got this blue side on top. So what we're going to do now is we're going to solve for the whole bottom two layers of this cube. They're all going to be solved. So from there, again, it's really just hard to explain. It's kind of just knowing... <laughs> It's kind of knowing how to get the pieces there, right? So you you want to match up the color. You want to match up the greens with the greens you already have down on the bottom, but you also want to match up the center pieces. So it's really, let me show you how it looks. It's going to look like this. This is a solid bottom two layers right there because you got all this matched up. So you want that all around the bottom section, and that's really just matching colors. Um see like I got this one right here yellow yellow red red with a green and that needs to go here with the red and yellow with the green on the bottom so you have it here you can bring it over and so it's it's above where it needs to go and you just put it down like I don't know how to explain it it's just sometimes people don't see that like the easiest way to do it is just by <laughs> putting it in the right spot already but it's hard for people to see that sometimes so like I want all this these two pieces to go right here and literally you could just put it up pull it over and bring it down and it's just like that and you don't mess anything up like okay and now we need two more so sometimes they're not always together right so we got this green piece right here and um, it's green orange yellow so we need to find an orange yellow edge piece and that's up here so you want to bring that corner piece up top right okay so now we got the green corner piece and we got the yellow orange edge piece and we we need to connect these two and then put it in in this little slot the green orange yellow slot so first we need to connect these two so again this is just matching colors up and like I don't People people always say, oh, well, you know, like, algorithms and stuff to do all this stuff. And, like, w where there is algorithms involved in solving the Rubik's Cube, most of it is just intuitive. And, like, I'm telling you guys right now, I haven't used any algorithms to solve this. It's just matching, straight up matching colors. And if you're not colorblind, then this should be easy. I don't know how else to explain it. But I just put that there. And I, I don't really know how else to explain it other than the fact that you just, you got these two colors here. You got the green, orange, yellow, and the orange, yellow. You match it up, and you just bring it over and bring it down. And that's it. And, like, I, that's the second. We're almost done. We only need one more little piece to do the f bottom two layers. And that's the green, red, white. And then this red, white piece needs to go here. So you just... You always want to start up on the top and work your way down. So if you bring that piece on the top where it needs to go, and then you got this edge piece that you got to pair it with, it's just a matter of matching them together and bringing it down. And you got the bottom two layers just like that. I don't like like I'm saying, guys. It's all just intuitive stuff. You got to practice knowing how how the cube works and stuff. It's really I didn't learn this in a day it takes time to become a master <laughs> I say master but I'm not a master that could be so much better like the world record for solving this is like four second four point something seconds so and like my fastest time is 38 so I'm in no way a master but I just I know how to do it I'm trying to explain to you guys so now all you want to do is solve this um, all, you, all that's left to do is solving this top layer so that starts off by um, solving 
the whole blue side first. So this is where I would use the first algorithm and it's really like if you have a line like this you want to line it up so it's horizontal and then you just do this little number like that and that will give you a cross. You see the cross? Just like that. So once you have the blue cross it is really easy to solve the blue side. It's just like another algorithm that you have to do and this one if you watch closely you keep the blue on the top you just want to do this little number and the blue is solved right there so now now all you gotta do is flip these corners and that is also really easy now the whole all the last parts are all algorithms and I don't really want to go into too much detail about algorithms. Like I said, if you guys want me to, just request it and I'll do this. I don't know how many of you guys are interested in actually being able to solve the Rubik's Cube. So if I get enough um, requests for that, I will um, go into full detail about it. But for now, I'm just going to solve this. Because it's really just algorithms and I... <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys are too interested in that so so you solve the corners and all that's left to do is um, flip these edge pieces and that's also done with an algorithm so if you watch closely uh, with the blue on top and it's done just like that that's gonna go ahead and do it for the vlog today guys i'm sorry if you didn't enjoy it but if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up and like i said guys if you want to see a full video of me solving the rubik's cube explaining step by step on how to do it just let me know in the comments below and i'll make sure to do that if you guys want to see it guys if you're new here don't forget to go down there and smack that subscribe button join the bastards we lit we solving cubes we cooking we doing different stuff different days so join us because we're we're um we're cruising right now all right we're um slowly making our way up to our 100 subscriber giveaway which i don't want y'all to forget about remember 100 subscriber giveaway giving away a 25 dollar visa gift card away to one of y'all all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel follow me on twitter at justin timorio and you'll be eligible to be in that giveaway and guys today's shout out is going to my buddy roberto Hernandez, my boy Rob. Rob, thank you so much for being a bastard, homie. Thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying. We miss you. I actually used to work with Rob down at Victor's Wood Grill. He was a server there. Me, him, and Gus were tight. We were the boys. But Rob, miss you, man. Got to come by and see us soon. And thank you for your support, homie. And that's going to do it for today. I will see you bastards tomorrow. Australian guy. <laughs> and it was on camera, that was cool. <laughs>